Hey everyone, and welcome on back to Decidedly Vanilla. Today is episode five? Episode five, I think. Yeah, let's go with episode five. That sounds like a good number to go with here. Anyways, we are back here on our cool little island that we're gonna now finally, finally get some work started on it. As you can see, my inventory here is full of some good old nether goods. I decided to go and do the nether raiding by myself, get a lot of cool stuff built up there because I feel like we the last episodes we have done have all been very, very functional things, and that's not what I like to do. I love to build. So today, now that everything is fully set up, we got enchanting well, well on its way across the board right here. We have mending on almost everything. We only need three more mending books. We got a few more things to throw on our sword here, like, you know, maybe sharpness so we can actually kill things quickly. And beyond that, we got a lot of other st cool stuff that we can take care of. I just want to give you guys a little bit of a heads up though. Recently, we did go ahead and move to a new apartment. So if things are sounding a little weird in here, I'm still trying to get everything up and running. There's a little bit more street noise in the background, sadly, compared to the old place. But I, it's a much better spot for us. And we're really, really happy right here. So if there's a little bit extra street noise for the next little bit, while I try and figure out audio settings to try and get that stuff out of here, just fair warning on that one. Uh, let me know if it's better or worse or if it's really that noticeable. Uh, you guys are going to be my eyes and ears in the field here for quality of the video and everything like that. But anyways, what we're going to be doing for today's episode is we are going to be starting terraforming the island. I want to start with basically because Sausage has this awesome little pirate cove built up over there. If you guys haven't gone and checked out his videos, definitely worth watching. He has a really awesome underwater storage room that I almost want to steal the idea of. But then it'd be a carbon copy on this side of the island. So obviously we can't do that. So maybe we'll do that and build with the web. I don't know. We'll see what happens there. But anyways, what we're going to be working on today is we're going to be starting with how kind of we can get the bridge and everything like that across this area. I don't want to be building the bridge itself, but basically I want to have a diagonal point right here is where my kind of goal was. So we'd have the bridge kind of coming through here. And then it's basically going to be a pathway that kind of winds its way back through here and bam, and then kind of goes up this way a little bit. By the way, this terrain is not gonna look anything like this once we're done with it. You know me, go look at our custom mountain biome. We're building over in our single player world. We're gonna be doing something on that scale. Anyways, we're gonna kind of be going around like this and bringing it up and kind of going up into the village. The village is probably gonna be, you see the top of that tower? That's probably the lowest point for where the dirt is gonna be across this place. I wanna get a lot more height on here so we can get some really cool cliffs on the outside. But anyways, let me go ahead and organize all my supplies here. We did go ahead and do a bunch of mining, so I'll go ahead and show you guys what the cave's looking like here real fast. And then after that, I'm gonna get a little bit of planning done on this guy so I can give you guys a general idea of where we're gonna be going. And I will see you guys in just a little while. If anybody wants to know how much mining we've done exactly, this, this is how much mining we've done. We went all the way from there to all the way down here. And I think this one's a slime chunk, so we might be able to make a slime farm here, or at least one of those ghetto slime farms that we have over on our single player series, because I've seen a bunch of slime spawn at this point. So hopefully it works. I don't know, we'll see how that goes. But this tunnel right there goes all the way down and through this area. We are now on Sausage's side of the island, so I don't know how much farther we wanna be going. Basically you can go through there and there's another tunnel out that way. All right guys, welcome back. So we got our general theme going on here for like the shape of the staircase. It's kind of up here and it's weaving its way around here, kind of going straight up like that. And I'm thinking the gate's going to be kind of right at this area where you have these more like steps going up. And I think basically that'll level out, level out this whole place. What I want to do next is first off, sleep the night away. Second off, we're going to be working on kind of like a cliff face that's going to be dotting along like this area right here. I do have a bunch of smooth stone now. So we're basically going to be bringing the cliff kind of out like this. Something like that where we kind of have the cliff kind of going up into this guy with a little bit of dirt on the edge to kind of surround the pathway there. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get like a wire frame up for this guy and uh, regular stone and I'll be back with you guys. Okay, welcome back guys. So I decided to go ahead and instead of just doing the cliff straight away, I decided to go ahead and kind of bring in all of this dirt and have this sloping pattern kind of going straight up into where we have the cliffs going because I felt like, or actually I knew because I started building them down there as you can see that we were gonna start a few blocks higher. So I went ahead and did all of that and it's looking pretty nice. I actually really, really like the general shape and look that we have going here. It's a bit similar to what we've done before. I think it's we've done a few things similar to this, especially that uh, collab series we did with Arcala. So these cliffs are really gonna be similar to the ones that we were doing on there. But if you haven't checked that series out yet, go ahead and do it. We ended up building up a really cool spawn village and everything like that together and it was a super, super fun time 
kind of figuring out how to use the whole replay mod in 1.13 and see what we could do there. I had a bunch of fun doing it. Anyways, I want to go ahead and kind of bring the stones out here a little bit away from the cliff face itself to make it look more like this area is crumbling down and kind of falling down and having a little bit of erosion going on here because that's something I'd really love to focus working with here in this season is kind of working with the different erosion ways that we can have it make it look like things are actually falling down the cliffs instead of just having these flat kind of cliff faces across the whole thing. But anyways, this cliff face is going to end up going pretty much all the way down to there. And it's actually going to be kind of bordering that whole river area, the river valley. It's going to look pretty cool in the end. But we got that guy working for us so far. It's looking pretty, pretty nice. We got to go basically go out and fill this guy in. I need a little bit more dirt. As you can see, we only have 34 left to us. And we need to throw some cobblestone slabs for now. We're just going to do this for our walkway. I don't know. What type of palette should we use for the walkways here, guys? Do you have any ideas? Let me know on that because I'm kind of at a loss right now. I have the general idea for the builds that I want to do, but as far as the roadways, I'm almost thinking like a cobblestone and gravel could honestly be like the perfect way to go here without making it too extreme and hard to do. But I think that could be cool and maybe mix in some of those dead coral bushes every once in a while because I feel like those would be fun to mess with. Anyways, now that it's way into nighttime and there's going to be phantoms because I haven't slept for a very long time. That last night, yeah, didn't sleep. Also been AFK fishing for quite a long time so you know maybe we'll try and kill maybe we'll try and kill some phantoms tonight i don't know how's that sound <laughs> let's go ahead and stay awake as long as we can and see if we can't get any good loots on that i still have yet to fight a phantom so you know i think i'm ready my i got my sword here i'm ready to go guys i'll i'll let you know if we get attacked at all through the oh i don't have an elytra all right guys welcome back so we got our whole cliff face in here and it's looking pretty cool i don't really know what we want to do for a pallet for it though so if you guys have any ideas be sure to let me know because i'm kind of stuck here i think like we're planning on using like gravel and cobblestone and dead coral and whatnot over here in the pathway. I think probably gravel heavy because I feel like it'd be kind of a cool pathway kind of going with the Asian style that we're going with for this whole build. I think that'll work out pretty well here, but I don't really know what we want to be doing for this guy. We could go with just some andesite and cobblestone and throw in some dead coral in here too and just make it look really cool. We could do all that because the way the coloring of the builds is going to be working, of course I'm bringing you guys back in at the nighttime. Uh, but what, the way the color for all the builds and like the palette is going to work, I think it'll be totally fine. But anyways, right up here in this area, we're going to be building like the gatehouse up and things like that. I don't want to do that quite yet because I don't really know quite how I want to be doing that one. So I want to just go ahead and leave this guy kind of here for now and we can come back later and do it. But we did make a while ago in one of the videos where we did the archway designs. I know that one of those showcase design videos we will begin back to those guys soon. I've just been a little too busy. I'm still working on the throne room one though. So don't worry guys, we're, we're still going to get that out. But anyways, I wanted to go ahead and add in some of those archways that we made there. We made one in like a lot, lots of cuts here trying to get used to all these cars going by and things like that. Sorry about that guys. But anyways, we made like a Asian styled archway that looked really cool kind of as like an entrance to a shrine or something I feel like that'd be a cool way that we can kind of dot those along the road here as you're kind of entering into the town and then we can use those as you're kind of entering into the different sections inside the actual base itself as we kind of bring those guys in here together so I want to go ahead and get, get one of those set up in here after I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit more dirt placing trying to get this whole side coming out here because I want to go ahead and have another cliff face coming in Basically starting from, let's see, where'd this one come through? So basically there. So it would kind of go right out into this direction probably, like through here, and kind of go straight, kind of curve in like that over to there. We'll probably link it up in that point where that pig is standing. So I think that's a good idea. I'm going to go ahead and get to work on that stuff, bringing all the dirt in if we have enough. This is basically all I have left in my chest right here because I don't have very much yet. I don't really know where to farm it up. I guess we could farm up everything in this area. But yeah, let me go ahead and do that. I'll be back with you guys. All right, guys, welcome back. I'm bringing you in here because we completely ran out of dirt and I want to give you guys a little bit of an update before I run off to find some more. I think the view from back here is starting to look really, really cool. Once you get the bridge in there, cool archway right there, then the whole gateway up there and then the walls kind of stretching all the way down oh man this entrance is actually going to look really really cool i was thinking we could turn these into like some wheat fields or something on the outside too to make it even cooler maybe some flower fields i don't know any ideas for that would be more than welcome so we've been working on bringing all this stuff down here uh as you can see all the dirt has kind of gone into that type of stuff throughout here we got the rest of the stone that we need to fill into the cliff face i don't really know the height yet that i want it to be i'm thinking about probably bringing it down a little bit throughout here. Sorry, car going by again. Okay, car's gone. Uh, Schnicks though, mentioned over in 
the Discord server, I was like, hey, if anybody wants to give some donations of dirt over to me, because, you know, dirt's the most valuable resource. He And I was like, I'd be more than happy and also I'd be willing to trade some stuff for some builds going forward. And he was like, hey, man, just go ahead and check my chest 300 blocks north of you and you can go ahead and take some from there. So we're going to go find his base here and I think it'd be pretty cool. So let me go ahead and we're going north here, right? Nope, that is west, right? The sun sets in the west. Yep, we want to go this way. Let me go ahead and see if I can't find his base. And once we get close, I'll bring you guys in so you guys can see this thing. All right, we're closing in on Schnick's base here. And this is really, really cool. Our island is actually just right back there, right? You can see that crafting table that's randomly floating on the water. Yeah, it's right behind that guy. Looks like he's got a really cool Mediterranean style going on here. It's like a modern Mediterranean style. Is that like a garage door? That's supposed to be a garage door? I don't know. <laughs> Whatever it is. This thing's actually really, really cool. He's done a lot of building for the server being so new on here. I guess it's been up for a few weeks now, so I can't say too much because I have been very, very slow at getting some builds going. I love the use of the acacia he's got going on here. Ooh, wow. What is... That's very, very cool. I like this a lot. This is... <laughs> wow. Okay, so he's got all those furnaces and things down there cooking up all the good stuff and helping him cook his food for when he gets back. This is... Ooh, holy cow. That's a lot of chess. That's a really cool pattern, too. This guy's really awesome. He's got a lot of cool stuff here. We'll have to come here and check out more about what he's got going on. Let me go ahead and see if I can't find some of that dirt stuff. And I'll meet you guys back over at our place. Definitely not back there. There's some dirt right there, though. But yeah, let me go ahead and see if I can't find some dirt. See if we can take just a little bit. I don't want to take everything he has, though. All right, we're saying bye to Schnick's place here, guys. And we got basically like eight or nine stacks of dirt on us, which is really nice. So we'll go ahead and use all that for a little while here. Tried not taking everything he had. But, you know, it's really nice of him. So we'll have to think of a gift to send back over to him. So if any of you guys got ideas what we can drop off over there, let me know. Because we got we to gotta do something. But this is very, very concerning. Why... Is there a random crafting table floating here in the water? I'm gonna break that guy. We got a free crafting table. Look at that, there's a really crappy tower coming up in the background right here and I'm very, very excited to get this stuff built up here. Let me go ahead and place all this dirt down guys, get a little bit more work done on the cliffs and I'll be back. All right guys, welcome on back. So we got the cliff face going all the way down there. It's starting to look really freaking awesome. We gotta go ahead and blend all this stuff and this will all be like a stone cliff here in the end. It's not just gonna be this dirt stuff that looks kind of crappy. Uh, we're going to be fixing that stuff up here very, very soon. Basically, as soon as we're able to get around to it. But for now, I want to go ahead and finish this episode off here with you guys real fast. And we're going to be going ahead and building up our little shrine guy right here. So we're going to do one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then right up on this side, one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then right here down one block, we're going to do an upside down stair and an upside down stair and then we can do that guy right there and then we're basically going to be doing an upside down stair and an upside down stair right there and then in the middle here just some nether brick fences and it helps kind of add this cool little look going on to it then we can go here bam bam and then bam and then we're going to basically do our little pattern we had going on in the middle there of making that nice little archway there and bringing all that stuff in here together and the last guy placed in there just like that ending out this day here and cool oh <laughs> that's gonna be looking really cool so we're gonna be using a lot of nether brick here along with dark prismarine and i think it's gonna make a really really cool atmosphere i think that's a great start right there and i think that's giving us a great point to start off here for where this series is going to be going, for what we're going to be adding everything to. I'm really excited to build this big old bridge. And I want to use, so alongside this, I want to use a bunch of quartz in here. A bunch, a bunch, a bunch of quartz as like a really cool highlight for whatever, like say religious or ornamental looking structures we want to do. I want to use a lot of quartz in there to make them really shine and glow. And we have a lot of animals down here. Holy cow, we got a lot of stuff. But anyways, guys, that's going to do it for today's episode. I'm not too sure about how long this one's going to be here. I do hope you guys have enjoyed us. It's going to be nighttime here. So, you know, I got I should go ahead and sleep the night away and probably do that in real life, too, because it's getting pretty late at night and it's a way late on a Sunday night. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please hit that like button if you did. Subscribe if you are new and I will catch you guys on the flip side.